Welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to make a simple sofa in Revit. This one here is by Serena and Lily. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to the dimension section of whatever sofa you're trying to model after. And I would write down those dimensions in your notes tab just so you won't have the to go back and forth between the product page and your Revit page. You can if you want. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're down on time, and you really don't have time to be going back and forth. You need something that's a much more convenient option. So once you've done that, there are there might be some dimensions that aren't there, such as this leg height right here. Stuff like that, you'll simply have to guess. Keep in mind, you're just modeling after it. And as long as you get um, close to the exact dimensions, it'll be just fine. You're going to want to go to File up here. Go to New, Create Family. And you are going to want to click on furniture. If it is a part of a furniture system, you can click that as well. So now I'm just going to start with the base. My overall dimensions are 84 by 35. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to center this square rectangle on these two reference lines. So I'm going to select the whole thing, press MV on my keyboard for move, and I'm going to go to the center line of each portion and move it to the reference line. And now my rectangle is centered. So I'm going to click the check mark and go to the front view. Now once again, it does not tell me the leg height. I can only guess. If it's that important to you, once again, I will reach out to a rep of the brand so you can get more information on the product. I'm going to guess three inches, maybe four. I'm going to say four. The entire height is 35. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a model line to represent those 35 inches. You can also do a reference line and name the reference line like arm height, seat height, whatever. But I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm going to change this. I'm going to make another line to say 4 inches. And I'm going to assume that this is 1 inch. Once again, don't know. So now that I have the 1 inch and the 4 inch to represent the legs, I'm just going to move this base accordingly. like so and now i'm going to delete these two lines and i'm going to make the actual legs of the base and i'm going to do so going back to the reference level view this means you're looking at your extrusion by floor plan so bird's eye view so i'm just going to create four little squares Don't know how wide they are, but I'm going to select the square, press MM on my keyboard for mirror, and mirror that over this reference line. And I'm going to press MM again, or you can click the mirror icon, which is right here. And I'm going to select this one to mirror it over, MM again, and mirror it over. Now I'm going to press the check mark. Go back to the front view and drag these downward. So now I have the base of the sofa. And you can go to the 3D view, change it to hidden lines so you're not seeing through everything. And this is what the base of the sofa looks like so far. My arm height is 30 inches. So I'm going to press L out on my keyboard to create my line. But I'm going to use it as a guideline. And I'm going to make it 30 inches tall. And now I'm going to go back to the reference level and I'm going to go to create extrusion and I'm going to create the arm and back.
three inches all around. I don't know if that's accurate, um, but I'm just guessing. So now I'm going to go back to the front view. This may look kind of confusing, but it's okay. Drag this bottom node to the top of the base. And drag this to the top of the arm height, which is this one, 30 inches. So now that I've created that, you can see we're looking like something. I want to get this curve effect in the front. So I'm actually not going to start at the reference level view. I'm going to start at the front. So I'm going to go to create extrusion. Click the square uh, rectangle. And then just bring this down. four inches and now I'm going to zoom in a bit I'm gonna go to this fillet arc tool and I'm gonna smooth this edge out and I'm gonna make all of these three fourths I'm actually just I'm gonna make the top two three fourths inches And if it happens to be a number that you don't want, just click your arc again and you can change the number here. And click check, go to the reference level, bring this all the way back. And this is what we're looking like. So now I'm going to go with the seat cushions, which I'm going to make in the front view. I'm going to go ahead and make a line for my seat height. I'm going to delete the arm height one because I don't need that anymore. And this is just one big cushion. And I'm going to go to the fillet arc and round these edges off as well. So now I'm going to go to the reference level and it says that the seat depth is 22 inches. So I'm just going to drag this all the way back to there. And I'm going to go, this is what the 3D view is looking like. It's time for the three back cushions here. So I'm going to do that in the front view. I'm going to go to create, extrusion. Now the seat does not go all the way to the back, so I'm actually going to start here. And I'm going to try to make them three even thingies. You can just do the math here. I just didn't feel like doing it because I'm doing this for an example video. Just a model. Now that I have them here, I'm just going to curve these edges again with the fillet arc tool here. And I'm going to select this end. And I'm going to do these at one half radius. So now I'm going to go to the reference level and bring these back here. This looks weird to me, so I'm actually going to bring these up. And pull the seat back more. That just looks much better to me. And this is what it is looking like. I have added some pillows, um, some throw pillows to the sofa. And I will be coming out with a video on how to make your own pillows with different types as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. God bless.